Good morning, give it. This is Lauren with your Give Economy Overview. The purpose of this video is to explain to any new contributors or people who are already involved a little bit about the overarching components of the Give Economy. So I'm gonna walk through it step by step. Um, so starting off with the Give Drop. Well, essentially, Giveth is mincing, is creating a token. We're creating the Give token. And in order to get people initially like in order to initially distribute give we're giving an airdrop to our community and our community includes past and current contributors it includes donors to projects on giveth and donors to giveth directly and donors to giveth via gitcoin um with like a couple of different variations i think you needed to donate to like three rounds um on gitcoin, gitcoin for example but that breakdown is going to be available but for now all you need to know is that the gift airdrop is going to contributors, to donors, and to users of the initial Giveth DAP, um, now known as Giveth Trace. So uh, here's a screenshot of the mockup that Marco made for the gift drop. Um, basically, you can connect your wallet, and then you'll be able to see how much give that you're eligible to receive. Um, an important thing to note is that tokens that, well, recipients of the give drop are getting some portion initially claimable and then an additional component, which is going to be called the give stream. So the give stream is essentially give that's being streamed, like flowing to the user's claimable, claimable section um, over a period of five years from when we launched the give economy. Um, the purpose of the give stream is that so we have continued, we ensure continued participation and activity in the give economy by continuing to give our contributors more and more give as time goes on. Um, currently, we are going to have the give stream on both mainnet and xdai, and probably the stream will last for five years. It may last four years. We haven't completely determined this number yet, but it's it's um, up in the forum right now, so we're we're voting on that and trying to determine whether or not it'll be five years or four years that the stream will run. But basically the stream will be running for a period of four or five years. Um, you can also, as a user of Giveth and a user uh, and, the, and a participant in the Give economy, you can earn additional Give and then also increase the flow rate of your Give stream. So people who are receiving the Give drop get the Give stream. People who get give backs get the give stream. People who get um, rewards from liquidity mining, from the give mining, get the give stream. And also people who are doing single asset staking uh, by voting with give tokens in the give garden get the stream. Um, I haven't gone over all those different sections yet, the give backs, give mining, and give garden yet, but I'm going to get to them. But for now, all you need to know is that there is a stream and people are getting a continuous flow of give for a period of four or five years. And this is to um, ensure continued participation in the give economy. Um, yeah, here's a screenshot of one of the mockups made by Marco uh, showing that this would be on the give drop page. And so it's showing that you're getting an additional, for example, 10 give per second. And you can see like your give stream flowing into your claimable portion. Um, yeah. so. Now I'll talk about the other sections of the give economy. First one we'll walk through quickly is the give backs. So give backs is essentially, um, well, a revolutionary concept in the future of giving, where um, when you donate to verified projects on Giveth, you're eligible to receive give tokens. So you're not just giving and we're not continuing with this like exploiting the altruist concept, but rather than ra rather you're actually getting something in return for what you give. Um, so with givebacks, donors to verified projects on Giveth get give. Um, there's a couple of different parameters or yeah, like necessary components. Those projects must be verified, and basically we're having we have a project verification system um, where in which we determine that those projects are who they say they are, and they are doing what they say they're doing. Um, and also, it's important to note that it's the donors who are receiving givebacks and not the project. So as a project on Giveth, you um, can get verified because you want to encourage more donations to your projects, but you're not getting give for getting verified. The donors to you are getting give. Um, so the givers of the donors can get up to 75% of the value of their donation 
at the time of donation back in give tokens. Um, and so the amount of give that they actually receive is dependent on the round um, and also how many, how many gift tokens are allocated to the round and how much was donated in that round. Um, basically, the way that GiveBacks works is we have rounds of two weeks. So for a period of two weeks, we track all of the donations to verified projects on the DAP. And um, then we distribute the amount of give allocated to that round among the givers to verified projects. So if there's a lot of donors and really high donations during that round, then the amount that people, that the donors get back and give um, in GiveBacks will be less than if there were just a few givers during a round and the donations were smaller. If, if that were the case, then the givers could get up to 75% of the value of the donation. Another important thing to note is that this, uh, that givebacks, part of the givebacks that you receive are claimable immediately and part of it is going to the stream. So it's getting streamed to the giver over the period of four or five years, however long is remaining in the, in the stream. Um, yeah, so the next component I'd like to talk about is give mining. So this is essentially liquidity mining, um, a, a liquidity mining program that we're creating, which is going to be available on both Ethereum and XDAI. Um, so you can provide liquidity, I think we're doing like Uniswap, Balancer, HoneySwap, and you can provide liquidity in pairs and then stick your liquidity tokens in the give mine, in the give mining, and earn, um, earn give as reward. So you can earn a, a percentage APR in give. Um, part of the give mining program also includes single asset staking. So there are also going to be areas on Ethereum and next site where you can just stake give and you're going to be earning a percentage of the give that you put in single asset staking, but an additional give. So your give is still your give and then you're also earning rewards. Um, so we're doing this give mining program uh, and it's going to be really similar to what Dapno did with Node. So here I have an image of one of the pools, the Node ETH pool and Uniswap for Dapnode and ours is going to be essentially the same. but but a different design. Um, an important thing to note here as well is that the rewards that people are earning uh, in the liquidity mining and from single asset staking, part of it goes into the stream. So part of it is claimable immediately and part of it is being streamed over the period of four or five years. Um, yeah. So next I'd like to talk about the Give Garden. Give Garden is essentially going to be our, um, it's going to be a form of governance for, for Giveth. And in the Give Garden, anybody who holds Give, anybody with Give, can create proposals that are requesting funding or requesting something from the DAO. And then other people who hold Give can vote on those proposals. And so we're going to be using conviction voting. The Give Garden uses conviction voting. So Basically, the strength of your, your vote of the tokens that you stake uh, grows over time. Um, yeah, I won't go too, too deep into conviction voting, but basically this is uh, with thanks to OneHive. And yeah, and, and basically, yeah, anyone who's holding Give can create proposals and can vote on proposals and then can help contribute to the way that, that the future of Giveth looks. Um, and also people who are staking give tokens in the give garden will be earning rewards as well. We want to make the, the rewards earned for give tokens staked on proposals in the garden to be the exact same as if you were to just stake in the give mining um, so that we also encourage people to be participating in the DAO. So there's also like an incentive. You're able to reward, you're able to earn a percent APR in give tokens just by voting and staking your gift tokens on proposals in the garden. Um, the rewards earned from, from staking on proposals in the garden are the same as the give backs and the give mining. Part of it is claimable immediately and part of it goes into the stream. Um, yeah, and then so the way that, that we've been discussing it and imagining it and I'm imagining it as well is that there will be just one place where all of these give all the give from all the different places can be claimed. So it's just sort of like one give claim kind of dashboard thing. Um, and so that includes all give that you get from that, that's coming in from your give stream remaining from 
the people who got the gift drop, that's earned from gift backs, that's earned as rewards in the gift mining, or from the gift garden. So there's going to be the claimable portion, and you can see your gift stream flow rate. And um, you can increase your gift stream flow rate basically by um, participating more in the gift economy, either by donating, getting gift backs, providing liquidity, and staking your tokens, and then getting rewards in the gift mine, um, or staking your tokens on proposals in the garden. And getting rewards from that. So this was your uh, brief overview of the components of the give economy. I hope that this was helpful. Um, there is also in the notion, I did a little bit of a more design focused breakdown overview of the components of GIF. So feel free to look at that as well. It includes basically all the information that I was talking about, as well as more ideas on how I think that we can display this on the DAP. Um, yeah, so thank you for listening. And I hope you have a beautiful day.